Okay, folks, so I'm going to show you how to add some basic lighting to your scene here. Um, I don't really have much of a scene at the moment. I just have a dog, but why don't I just go ahead and add a, uh, add a plane here. Okay, so I'm just adding a, like a platform from stand on so that I can cast a bit of a shadow. Um, okay, so I don't think it matters what what you're in here for adding a light. Let me just double check here. I don't think it matters, but uh, you want to go to the create menu, and we have lights. So last time I was showing you directional light. Directional light is uh, is I guess like a like a sun shining down or something. Um, in in more directional ambient, will uh, just kind of radiate light from that point. Um, a spotlight will really kind of you know have that circle like illuminate exactly where you're pointing it. So you can play around with these. Um, I suggest just using directional lights to be honest. You'll probably get a lot of mileage out of those. For some reason, my hotkeys aren't working. All right, so if you zoom into this light, you can see that there's these little arrows. That's showing you what direction the light is facing. Okay, so in this case, it's facing um, towards the back here. So maybe I want to uh, just move this light over here, and then I'm going to rotate it and move it higher up. Okay, so basically just uh, pointing down at that dot. Okay. Now, you can turn on some of these things here. If I turn on this little thing that looks like a light bulb, that's actually going to show me what my lighting looks like. Okay, so you can see without lighting and with lighting. You can see now it's starting to look a little bit more real realistic because you got the, uh, the light coming out from the top. Okay. Let me create a couple more lights just for fun. Okay, and I'll just show you how that how the light is actually changing how it looks. Okay, let's uh, maybe put this off to the side here. Okay, if you look at my wolf here, you can see as I'm changing the light, it's getting lighter and darker. It's maybe hard to see on your screen, but I can. I can see it on mine. Okay, and let's create one more. I'm going for like a uh, maybe like a three point lighting type idea. I don't know that much about lighting, but just play around. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, so light is looking pretty good. The shadows aren't working yet. Um, so we might have to mess around with the attributes. Uh, let's see. Attribute editor. Um, so on the light itself, if we have the attribute editor open and we've selected the light, uh, you can adjust a bunch of things. Like you can adjust the, the intens intensity, which is how much light you're getting. Um, the color of light, so let's just try changing the color of light to like red or something. Okay, now I got some red light. Maybe it looks like he's, uh, you know, sitting by the fire or something. Okay, and uh, there are some shadow options here as well. Um, now the shadow color, I, I don't recommend changing that because that, that's kind of weird if you have like a purple shadow, but you can mess around with that. Now I think the shadows, uh, we probably actually want to go to the render settings. Let's render settings. It's going to be under Maya software. 
and uh, ray tracing quality, just click off ray tracing and close, and then that should give us the uh, shadows here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can see I've got this uh, little wolf dog. I've got, uh, you know, some pretty dramatic lighting here. I set one of my lights as red just for fun, and uh, it's casting a shadow right here. Okay, so in order for that shadow to actually show up, uh, just again, I had to go to uh, render settings up here. Click on Maya software and make sure that ray tracing is turned on. Okay. So you can play with your lighting. Your lighting can actually move as well. You can animate your lights. I don't really know why you'd want to do that, but you can do that. Uh, so have a bit of fun and see if you can get some cool lighting on your scene.